All right, everyone. Well, today is the finish line. Day 30 of the 30 Day Profit Challenge. We made it. Woohoo! Thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of this 30 Day Challenge. I know it's been uh, a challenge of sorts for some people to maybe to get up first thing in the morning and get rolling with me and, and uh, get the copy going. But today, we have made it. We've made it to day 30 of the 30 Day Profit Challenge. And I really want to thank you and honor you for coming along for this ride with me. Um, you know, it, when I first set out to do this challenge, I wasn't sure what... Uh, how it was going to end up or where we we're going to go with it. But I really think that uh, it's proven to be some, some good learning for me, hopefully some good learning for you. And so today what I'm going to do is do things a little bit differently. I'm not going to really share too, too much on the screen with you folks, other than I'm going to point you towards a couple of resources that I've created for you and help showcase a little bit of more about what we've been talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'll walk through those resources very quickly at a high level and point you out to where they are. But then from there, if you have any further questions, this isn't the end of the road. I do want to make a, you know, just give you an opportunity to look at the coaching program that I've signed up for as well. And so uh, we'll get through that as well. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of the worksheets that I've put together for you and uh, we can take things from there. So let me just share my screen. So as we talked about with the profit litmus test, there's kind of four key pillars that we've talked about across the last 30 days. The first one being the product margin formula. And so with the total product margin formula, what I've done is I've created a worksheet here that speaks to the total product margin formula that allows you to walk through all of the different steps that we talked about in terms of a product margin formula. So we've talked about, first of all, about a step one of increasing your average order value. Then we talked about increasing your units per order. And then thirdly, we talked about increasing the average product margin. And so by calculating all those different inputs, you're able to then calculate your total product margin formula. And so how this worksheet works is basically any of the cells that you see shaded in yellow would be cells that you would go in and you would input values. So you'll notice that I've already shaded in some of the values ahead of time for you and put in the sort of some of the scenarios that we worked through on the slides. So we've got things like our 4,000 orders, our million dollar sales revenue, and then our average order value 250, as well as the current state of units sold 10,000, units per order 2.5, and then we've got average unit revenue, cost of goods sold, and average product revenue. So those are kind of all of the different inputs that we would have had. And then by using this input field, you're able to then modify the results. So if I change this to let's say 5%, you'll see the column of the desired state is what changes the fields or the inputs. So this first worksheet is kind of, let's say it's got the training wheels on, and it helps you walk through a little bit of how my brain works when I think about spreadsheets and how we look through worksheets to calculate basically what the current state is of your current business versus the desired state of where you want to get to when in this case we're talking about total product margin formula. So that's in a nutshell the first worksheet and as I showcased it when we walked through it in day eight or sorry day, day eight or day seven can't remember it was one of those two but uh, basically we had a, a print off worksheet that you could look at your total product margin tree based on the slides, based on those inputs, as well as a desired state output that you could print off as well. So it showcases sort of the before and after status. So then if we moved on, we've got the total order margin formula worksheet. And so with the total order margin formula worksheet, what we've done is we've broken down each of the individual sort of parts of an order margin formula that we talked about. So we had things like your shipping margin. And your shipping margin, remember, was when we had played with a few different scenarios where your current state is you're charging $9.95 shipping, but maybe you're paying $8 in shipping, so only making two bucks in shipping profit. What we looked at is a few scenarios of scenario A where you would reduce your shipping costs of what you pay, or perhaps when you increase your shipping costs to what you charge the customer. Or maybe it's a combination of the both, where you're increasing both what you're charging the customer and what you pay in order to widen that shipping margin or the shipping profit for your business. So that is the shipping margin tab. Now, there are a few other tabs, one related to payment processing fees. And we looked at a few different scenarios there in terms of what gets charged to the customer versus what uh, you end up having to collect from your revenue of product sales and the orders there. So we looked at what the breakdown is between domestic cards versus international payment cards. And then we looked at a few scenarios around percentage of what you would charge versus the actual transaction fee or the payment fee that you would pay for each of the individual transactions. So we've got that set up for both domestic cards as well as international cards. And you'll notice I put instructions beside each one so, so that if you get a little bit lost in the worksheet, 
hopefully that you've got some, some little how-to tips to guide you along the way. Then we looked at return rate optimization. Again, we're still in the total order margin formula, but there's four worksheets in this one to help you kind of walk through all of the individual steps related to order margin formula. So with the order margin formula, we looked at return rate. And so we started at our current state of 48%, which is kind of the new normal we heard about from customers. And then what we've got is we've got our uh, few different options here of the scenarios that we talked a bit about of reducing that from 48 down to 46 or perhaps 43, or even all the way down to 38 if possible. So that gives you a nutshell, kind of what the return rate optimization worksheet looks like. And then the last one is we went through a few different scenarios, again, talking about perceived value for customers. And what we tried to showcase in there is showcase if you offered a sales discount versus a buy one, get one, versus a gift with purchase, or if we scroll all the way down here to a free shipping offer, what those different options could look like in terms of what you, the, you or sorry, what the customer pays versus what you, the merchant pay. And so that you can understand what your order margin is gonna be on that particular order. So we've gone through a few different scenarios. And again, I've got some notes next to each of the fields that you need to fill out so that you're kind of familiar with where the yellow shaded cells. Whenever in doubt, yellow shaded cells are what are calculated based on inputs from your business or inputs from your ideas of where you wanna go and everything else should be calculated for you. So by all means, that takes care of the total order margin formula. Next, we'll move on to the total conversion rate calculator. And this calculator is a pretty simple one, but what it looks at is basically, if we think about the conversion rate we talked about, we talked about how people flow down your conversion funnel from visitors to browsers, and they converted a traffic to product impression rate. Then you've got shoppers who converted a product impression to product detail rate. You've got buyers who convert added product detail to add to cart rate. Spenders who convert at an add to cart to checkout rate. And then you've got customers who convert at a checkout to order rate. And so what you're seeing here is you've got the, the individual conversion rates at each of those micro conversions that I've listed here for you. And then what I've got is I've got sort of that desired state example that we talked about where we were talking to get to the Amazon 3% that everyone aspires to be at. So what you would do is go in and put in your individual conversion rates at each of these individual steps. If you don't know them, that's okay. You can take care a little bit with the numbers to see where the bottom conversion rate kind of factors in. Now, this is obviously working off of a scenario we looked at in a, a Google merchandise store or an example store. So by all means, if you want, I, I'll make sure that the link is included in here as well. But um, this is the, your total conversion rate calculator to help you understand how you can calculate your conversion rate and get it up to the 3% rate. And then finally, we have the total customer margin formula. And the total customer margin formula was what we talked about when we talked about customer margin. It's a lifetime value subtracted from that, your cost per acquisition to get to your customer margin formula. And so we walked through a few scenarios there where we had sort of the step one of talking about our revenue per customer. Step two was looking at our first time customers and what sort of the distribution of paid versus earned customers looks like within first time customers. And then we looked at repeat customers in terms of what the distribution looks like between paid and earned there as well from repeat customers. Then from there at the bottom, we can calculate our customer margin for that particular business. And so again, within this one, you'll see a lot of yellow shaded cells. So I won't step through this one in detail necessarily, but if you can recall, go back to the lesson and review how we talked about shifting, you know, we went through a bunch of lessons within, you know, how to shift from revenue per customer and your average order value to orders per customer. We had also another lesson in there that talked a bit about how we shift from first time customers to repeat customers. We also looked at how we shift within first time and paid, or first time to paid versus earned. And we also looked at within repeat how to shift paid versus earned. And then ultimately we looked at the cost per acquisition on keeping your spend constant across the first time spend as well as your repeat spend to arrive at a cost per acquisition number that you can make sense of based on all of the other inputs. So again, I'll make sure that there's links to referencing the, to the videos so that you can go back and watch those videos in terms of which days these ones correspond to. But hopefully this makes a lot more sense and gives you a lot more feedback and a lot more info, info to calculate your total customer margin formula. So that in a nutshell are some extra worksheets that I've created for you that hopefully give you a little bit um, 
better snapshot and also uh, a better way to kind of to consume the lessons that I've provided for you. Now, what I've done is, again, is I've been behind the schedule a little bit on getting the recordings out to you over the last couple of days because I was really wanted to get this worksheet ready to go for today's session. So what I'll do is I'll make sure that you get all the recordings over the next couple of days caught up, as well as this worksheet will be available. And then that way you're able to take all of the lessons learned from all of the different sessions and able to go and make sense of it all and plug it in for your own business and your own numbers. So that's kind of, that's kind of it in terms of day 30. We made it all the way. So, you know, what I wanted to kind of close off with today is, you know, today's not the end of the road necessarily for us. Um, this, it was a little bit of an experiment for the last 30 days to see how this micro coaching could work out. And um, it worked out quite well, had some good attendance, had some good people that showed up every day, had some people that, uh, you know, can make it some days, can make it not others. But I think, you know, when it comes to coaching, you know, coaching is one of those things that I personally believe is um, something that's always helped me along the way when I've had some different roadblocks in my life or different struggles in my life. You know, I've, I've had coaches along the way from when it comes to marketing coaching to business coaching, whatever sort of struggles I've been having in life, it's always been good to have a coach along the way to cheer me along and help me move things along. So, you know, I've become my own coach, so to speak, in terms of coaching you in this 30 day challenge. But what I wanted to extend to you and I want to offer you as well is the opportunity to become a coaching client of mine and someone that, you know, if you feel that you want some extra help along the way, if you feel that you want to continue to work through some of these lessons or maybe go deeper on some of them with your own business, that's okay. That is an option for you. And so what I encourage you to do is, you know, I'm going to put a link here in the chat window for everyone that uh, wants to, who may be interested. And what it is, is it's a, it's a private application form that I've, I've set up where if you are interested in coaching at all, you know, it, and it is something that you want to continue to do um, with me on more of a one-to-one -one basis, or you know what, even if you just want to sit down and have an initial chat just to find out about how this, you know, maybe have some specific questions. What I'm going to offer you today is basically a free one-to-one -one coaching session. And like I said, everyone that's attended the 30 day challenge is get access to this. Initially, I only made it available for just the first people that were going to make it the first three that made it all the way through. But because, you know, there's been a lot of people with a lot of good questions. I want to make this available to everyone. So the onus is on you though. You have to go and apply. So if you want to go to the URL I put just post in the chat window, it's blairdejong.com slash coaching. And what you can do from there is there's an application form that you can fill out some just initial details about your business. And then from there, you know, what makes the coaching program unique? You don't know typically what we're going to do is, you know, some coaches will tell you, well, that you're going to do this and this and this and this and this, and they're just going to teach you and, and, and ask you, so what do we do today? What do you want to, you know, Barbara, what, what do you want to talk about today? Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a structured sort of 12 week program that's available to you to kind of walk through all of these different steps that we've talked about from a profit litmus test, plus some other ones that maybe you need to know about from your e-commerce business so that you can have a solid foundation on creating your own e-commerce business that works. Um, you know, if this is something that you've been struggling with in terms of your business and just like you're stuck in a rut, you're not sure where to go. Well, then perhaps apply and let's have a let's have a free session and just figure out where this can go from here. So with that, you know, take a moment. If coaching is something that, you know, you want to continue on pursuing this relationship, I'd love to have you along for the ride and love to continue to work with you on a more deeper level. So by all means, with that, though, I just want to thank you for being part of this 30 day challenge. It's been a, it's been a really good accomplishment, a really strong milestone, I think, for me personally to get in front of you for 30 days straight. But I also really want to thank those of you that made it along for 30 days as well and uh, honor you for being here. And, and thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And I really thank you for, for getting up every morning with me. And, uh, you know, the, the encouragement has been great to just see those people showing up every day. So thank you for that. And I look forward to chatting with you more as we continue to, you know, dig deeper into building an e-commerce business that works for you. So with that, I ask you to be present, connect with others, and go make an impact in someone's life today. Thanks for watching and uh, best of luck with your e-commerce business.